Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Giga Berlin produced 3,000 Model Ys this week. Tesla installs mega chargers in Sacramento to support new fleet of PepsiCo Tesla semi-trucks. Tesla cars have lowest range loss in winter conditions among other EVs, study shows. And, new Tesla app update shows owners significantly more charging data. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Giga Berlin crossed another production milestone, with 3,000 Model Ys produced this week. Tesla shared the news of its achievement on Twitter, with a photo of production workers and a few Model Ys in the background. The achievements follow the news of Tesla's new three-shift operations that began earlier this week. Earlier this week, we reported that the expansion of the plant indicated that Giga Berlin was about to raise its vehicle production further past another milestone it achieved earlier this fall. The new system reportedly began on December 16, with the first shift starting at 6 in the morning. The additional shift allowed for the factory to have an additional 1,000 more Model Ys this week. In October, Tesla announced that Gigafactory Berlin began producing 2,000 Model Y units in one week. The company has also been working diligently for its final delivery quarter of the year. Recent drone footage over the Berlin factory showed several Model Y crossovers being prepared for delivery. Black, white, and a few Quicksilver painted Model Ys were spotted in the footage. Moving to the next update, Tesla installs mega chargers in Sacramento to support new fleet of PepsiCo Tesla semi-trucks. Tesla delivered their first semi-trucks to PepsiCo at a special event held at Giga Nevada earlier this month. In the lead-up to those deliveries, PepsiCo confirmed their new Tesla semi-trucks would serve as two of their facilities in California, in Modesto and Sacramento. As we have previously reported, Tesla has installed mega chargers at Giga Nevada and PepsiCo's Frito-Lay facility in Modesto. Those builds and installations were well tracked by Tesla enthusiasts in the area, but it looks like another mega charger installation went completely under the radar. Tesla has also built a four-stall mega charger at the PepsiCo Beverages plant in Sacramento at 7550 Reese Road, according to photos shared, showing two semi-trucks covered with the Pepsi logo that were seen parked next to the mega chargers recently. Based on these photos, and according to a review of Google imagery, the mega charger station was placed along the northern lot line, just inside of a security gate, which is likely why the installation went unnoticed. This aerial imagery does not include a specific date for when it was taken, but appears to show the beginning of construction. Another photo uploaded to Google that is date stamped as being taken in August 2022 shows the station was complete and ready to go. With this installation, there are now three four-stall megachargers installations, two in California and one in Nevada. Tesla has yet to confirm how big the battery in the semi is, but based on details shared during the delivery event, it is around 900 kilowatt hours, or maybe even as much as 950 kilowatt hours. Despite the massive battery, it can be recharged quickly, thanks to the 1000 volt architecture of the semi and the 1 megawatt plus DC fast charging capability of the megachargers. Moving to the next update, Tesla cars have lowest range loss in winter conditions among other EVs, study shows. Electric vehicles lose part of their range in winter conditions due to the slowdown of chemical and mechanical processes in sub-zero temperatures. However, all Tesla vehicles have the lowest range loss in winter conditions, a study shows. All electric vehicles experience some loss of range in cold weather, which becomes important for owners in colder winter climates. This is due to the slowdown of chemical and mechanical processes at low temperatures. During the winter months, you need to adjust your daily driving and charging behavior in order to enjoy using your electric car. However, partial loss of range is temporary and does not cause long-term damage to the battery. As the temperature warms up, the vehicle's range on a full charge should return to normal. Recurrent conducted a study on the range of electric vehicles in winter conditions based on data collected from 7,000 electric vehicles. 
They compared 14 of the most popular electric vehicles to show range loss under various driving conditions. The estimated winter range for several vehicles has been updated in 2022 to reflect the winter range that they have verified with real-world data. Note that estimated winter ranges are based on the onboard telematics and reflect the OEM's proprietary range calculations and software. Verified winter ranges are based on original recurrent research using a combination of onboard devices and real-time usage data, providing more than 35,000 data points. The data showed that all Tesla vehicles had the least range loss, as confirmed by real-world data. Model X D75 and Model Y Long Range lost only 15%, Model 3 Long Range with a 75 kWh battery lost 17% of range, and Model S P100D lost 19% of range. Ford Mustang Mach-E, Premium All-Wheel Drive, and Volkswagen ID.4 fared the worst of all, losing 30% of their range. Model X is an SUV built onto the Model S platform and has been on the market since 2016. Both the X and S come with an optional sub-zero weather package, which includes any or all of the following, depending on the exact year and software package. All of these features help to reduce reliance on energy-intensive cabin heating and defrost necessary car components. Of course, it's easy to set a departure time and precondition the car and battery too. And, as of 2021, Model X is also now equipped with a heat pump. Whereas the Model 3 heating system was known to use waste heat from the motor only to warm the battery itself, Model Y uses a more sophisticated heat pump system to help regulate temperatures without drawing on the high-voltage battery. The patented Model Y heating system alludes to a total of 12 heating modes and three cooling modes. The system even uses the thermal mass of the battery to store heat. Then, the battery can be used as a heat source as we draw down the thermal energy stored in the pack. Tesla Model S was the original mass-market Tesla, released in 2012, after the Roadster's popularity made Tesla a household name. While they are generally considered the higher-end models, as opposed to the more moderately priced Model 3 and Y, S did not originally come with the sophisticated winter weather engineering discussed here. However, as of last winter, all new models now come with heat pump technology. Moving to the last update, new Tesla app update shows owners significantly more charging data. The Tesla app has been updated to version 4.16, showing owners more information about their past charging. The Tesla app continues to improve with new functionality, coming in version 4.16. According to Not a Tesla app, the latest update shows far more information about an owner's charging habits, how much money they are saving, and much more. This comes only days after Tesla introduced a holiday update to its vehicles that brought a slew of new functionality to them as well. Looking at the Tesla's app on the App Store page, the release notes are short but sweet. View charge stats for the entire year, swipe graphs to see charging history but a few other upgrades are coming with the update. Not a Tesla app notes that owners can now switch units when looking at charging history between total charged and total spent, showing two different graphs. Smaller changes include the following. Adding the vehicle's name to the top right of the screen when looking at gas savings. Adding the ability to switch between kilowatt hours and the amount spent in the cost section. A new charging tips section to help new owners to maintain battery health and limit charging costs. New news and events notification settings. For many owners, the Tesla app is one of the best features currently offered by the company. And not only due to its extensive feature set, but also to its vast superiority over other automakers' app offerings. Hopefully, as the Tesla app continues to improve, it can motivate other car makers to improve their software and lead to a better ownership experience for everyone. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.